Good morning guys, welcome back to Blake WR TV. Today we are in the kitchen again and we are making some nice Jamaican fritters with sawfish today. Yes guys, you heard me right. Fritters with sawfish today. And as you can see, we have some sweet pepper out here. This is my red pepper. I have my um, jalapeno and I have some garlics and some onions. Scotch bonnet pepper and some onions, some red onions as well. Just one large onion and a little bit of thyme. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use a leaf for the thyme in there to give it that taste. Yes, guys, this is my sawfish right here. I got a scotch bonnet pepper in there. This is a deboned sawfish. So I already boil it down in some water, I scald it off, I get rid of some of the excess salt from it. You know they cure the sawfish with salt, so I already boil out that excessive salt so we take away some of that sodium off the sawfish. And over here, we got our frying pot over here. We're gonna be doing some frying right here and we have some flour over here. So we're gonna get right into it and show you how we do the Jamaican flitters with sawfish. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our pepper here. This is on my red um, bell pepper. And for your pepper, you just cut it up a small cube size. Just make it as small as you can because you don't want to be too big for the flitters. So what are you doing here? Okay, I'm cutting up some jalapeno for my flitters. I'm just going and dice them up in small big sizes. Mm -hmm. I already washed them, clean them, and I'm cutting them up so I'm gonna add it to my flour. Okay guys, this is my my onion. So red onion is go through and cut it up. I'm gonna add this to my flitters mixture as well. So we gotta cut it up in dice form very small. Okay, I have four garlics here and I have to dice them up just like the onion before and then I'm gonna put them inside of the flitters to give them that garlic kick as well. So we're gonna add this to the mixture as well in the flour. Here we're chopping some scallion. What's your technique when dicing? Well, the technique is not to cut your finger. The technique is to be very cautious of cutting with the knife. And cut it up as small as you can. Because you don't want it to be too big. You want everything to be diced up as small as you can. Okay guys, now we have a bowl here and we're about to mix our flour. This is our sawfish. It's been picked up, deboned, and treaded nicely. Over here we have over here we have our seasoning, we have our thyme, we have our bell pepper, sweet pepper. I'm, not, I'm sorry, this is um jalapeno. jalapeno. Here we got some red pepper, some garlics, some scallion. And we have some scotch bonnet pepper here. And of course, some thyme. Nice. Yeah. And over here, we are gonna go ahead and mix the dough. Okay guys, so making the, the dough, the first thing you need, you need about a cup, of flour. a cup of flour. So we're gonna put a cup of flour in here. And um, we're gonna add a little bit of cornmeal to it. So about that. And then we're gonna add a little bit of cornmeal. You don't have to put cornmeal in it. But for my purpose, I need the caramel. Some people go ahead and make this just like this without the caramel, but I need the caramel. I like the caramel taste in my dumpling. So guys, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt in here. So about that much. As you can see, it's not really full. It's a little bit of salt, not much. Okay, guys, now our flour is in the pan and we're gonna go ahead and put in our, this is our red onion. Let's put them out right like that. And Next, we have our um, jalapeno pepper. Put that in there as well. And then next, we have our red pepper. And this pepper is looking so good. You know, all that color. And next, we got our, this is some cloves of garlics. We all cut them up small with those as well. Then we have our scallion some green scallion and we have some this is some scotch bonnet pepper 
and we have a little bit of thyme right here. This is thyme leaf. Put some of that in there as well. That looks very colorful. What are you doing next? Okay, so now we put all our our um, vegetables in here. So this is very nice. The next thing we're gonna add, we're gonna go ahead and add the sawfish in there. So here's a sawfish guy, looking nice. Mm -hmm. You smell that? Smelling good. So we'll go ahead and just pour in the sawfish. Look at all that, all that sawfish. And if you don't know sawfish, guys, it's also called codfish. In America, we talk, we, we call it codfish. In Jamaica, we call it sawfish. <laughs> but it's also the same thing. All right, guys, this is the time we're gonna go through and get our dough, our vegetable, all of this good, awesome things all mixed together, just like that. I'm gonna start them in, get everything to mix together. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in water, and here we have um, about 12 ounces of water. Uh, a little bit of one and one third of water right here cups of water we're gonna pour it in and you always add water as needed but you don't want too much water to be in there so as you add the water guys you have to just judge it by add a little bit more and remember as needed looks good ain't it mm -hmm. all that um red pepper showing on top see that red pepper Look at that color. Mm, that thing smells good already. Okay, let's go ahead and mix it in just like this. And remember, add water as needed, but not too much. Okay, guys, we forgot two things in our flitters mixture, and they are black pepper and complete seasoning. You want to add a little bit of black pepper, not too much, because remember you put that um, scotch bonnet pepper earlier, so and jalapeno pepper. We don't want to add too much pepper, so it's a little pinch of black pepper and a little bit of complete seasoning just to get things going and get that little kick. As you can see, I already added. Okay guys, we have our pot on fire right here. We're getting our pot heated. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our oil in there. You can use whatever oil you wanna use. You can use, you can use, um, um, vegetable oil you can use uh, olive oil whatever you have whatever you want to use you can use it look at the texture of this thing guy look at that that that's our flitters mixture with all the nice vegetable in here so yes guys this is looking good very good some of you guys are vegetarian and you may eat fish but not eat not the meat so this is perfect for you okay guys now go ahead and put the oil in the pot so the pot is getting hot so go ahead and put some oil in there and you want to put like a, maybe like a quarter cup of oil in there so that should be good quarter cup of oil and then he's gonna go ahead and put up let the, the oil get hot a little bit and then you're gonna go ahead and put the flitters in and remember guys a while ago I said that, um, something about vegetarian eating um, um, fish but um, it actually is pescatarian okay guys we're gonna go ahead and put in our first flitters in the pot just like this and just lay it down just like that that's perfect right there put another one in just like that and if you are wondering what's that in the middle of the pot that is a nice scotch bonnet pepper heated in the oil give the oil some flavor put another one in Okay guys, while your flitters is frying, you just wanna push them a little bit. You don't want them to stick on each other. You wanna separate them, give them space. You wanna give them that six feet distance from each other. Okay guys, you just wanna fry them on each side for about three minutes. Then flip them over. Make sure you don't get them burned. The idea is to get them golden brown without brown and you can see this is what the golden brown that we're looking for just flip them over like this turn them over on the side look at that guy tell me if those don't look beautiful what do you think what do you think oh yeah, yeah. delicious 
You can see the vegetable through the, the dough. Look at that color on them. Beautiful. Okay guys, we're moving the first one over on the draining area. Gonna have it drain. Here's the second one. Let's get the oil drain off. We've taken out our flitters from the pod. We've got about six here. We still have um, some more in the batter that we're gonna add to the, the pot. Adding it in. Put them in just don't make them stick. Um, guys, we've got the flitters out the pot. This is how they're looking, fresh out the pot. They're looking very delicious, very colorful, flavorful, just all around. It's delicious. <laughs> so, guys, this is the end of the video. If you want to see some more stuff like this, you can check out the rest of the videos on ZWRTV. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share to your friends, family, whoever you know. Thanks for watching.